Greetings and salutations, Connor's Wiser. Take a look today at the newly revamped E Hall Pass. After an attempt towards the end of last year to make some changes, E Hall Pass rolled him back and decided that this year would be the year to do it. And frankly, it looks pretty spiffy. So let's dive in. So I'm going to access E Hall Pass through Clever. Clever slash IN slash Conrad Weiser. I'm going to click here on eHall Pass. Now you can go directly to eHallPass.com and choose either the Google login or the Clever login. Doesn't matter. When you get here, you'll notice it looks different. Now the nice thing is that they moved the create feature to much easier to find. So if I want to make a pass for someone, I just click create. And here are my choices. I can make a proxy pass, which is if a student does not have their device with them, or for example, maybe they're feeling really sick and the last thing you want them to do is to show how sick they are over their laptop, you can make the pass in their name. You can make an appointment pass, which is a pass for a student at a specific time. Designate your out of office times. So if you are not going to be in your room for wiser time, you can mark it as out of office or if you're leaving for a conference, so students try to make a pass to you and then they can't. There's the help desk request. I'm not sure if that appears on everyone's just because of my uh, permissions, it might not appear on yours, along with a lot of the information that you see below there, but everyone should see the different types of passes that you can make. So I actually wanna make an appointment pass. And when I do that, I can search for students and I'm gonna search for a student. You put the student's name there and you choose the date that you want the pass to be. And I'm gonna make this for today. You don't necessarily have to designate period, but I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put in a time as 10.01 a.m. Now you'll notice here, it will tell you if the student has an appointment within 15 minutes of the time. Since this isn't really a school day, I'm not overly worried about that. Now the from. The from the system just means it will appear and the student will see the appointment pass. If I want a different teacher to see it, for example, for this purpose, I'm going to put myself. When I see it, it will appear on my dashboard. And for the reason, I'm just going to put demo. So I'm going to press submit. Now, when I do that, if I go back to my dashboard, you'll see that I have a spot called today's appointment. And you can see that I was practicing before, so I canceled this one. And here's a different appointment for one minute later and it has appeared on my screen. And then I can acknowledge the pass that as the teacher, I see that they have seen this pass. So I'm gonna press acknowledge. Now I'm gonna switch over to the student view of the same thing. And you'll notice here, the student has an appointment pass. And this one they says is canceled because I did that, but here's the other one that I have confirmed. And at 10.01, the student would get a notification on their screen that says you have to go to an appointment. To see all of this information, I'm on my dashboard. I can click to just see any passes that students have asked and requested from me. I can see all passes, anyone in the building, active or ended or both. I can do whatever I need to do. I can do all these different filters on. There are different views and different searches that you can play with. But for the everyday information, you're going to live on the dashboard and you'll see what passes are here. You can create passes with the plus button. And if you're not sure how to do something, if you click on the training on the left hand side, there are a plethora of good training documents. And this is something here that we will make sure is opened so we can access it without having to worry about being signed out of Google. And then there's also video tutorials that they have a list for as well that because of how our Google stuff is currently structured, hopefully by the time you see this video, we'll have that all sorted out. E-Hall Pass, again, is available through Clever, and I'd recommend that everybody just bookmarks the page on their browser of choice to make it easier to find. If you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to reach out.